Morning. Yeah, I know I'm coming at you from the car and it does suck, but you know what? It's one of those things. Got a busy morning ahead. Actually, off to all of Africa. Got a couple of meetings, two consultations, one review almost with a colleague of mine. And yeah, just trying to get the job done. Um, for those of you that see me for the first time, my name is Jared Cole Edwards. I'm a. I used to be a daily vlogger on this platform. Now I'm just trying to create content to motivate you to get the job done. That's kind of the slogan on this channel as well. So yeah, consider subscribing if you want to see anything like this in the future. It's a new day full of new possibilities and new opportunities. Let's crush this. I haven't said that enough. I haven't said it in ages. Oh, let me just close. Ah, there we go. Sorry, a bit bright. Um, I haven't said that in a long time. I haven't said it in a while. I haven't uploaded in good on three weeks and it is blowing my mind that I haven't uploaded. Little thing on today's video, because I haven't uploaded, the one thing that actually has come to mind is on how to kickstart your YouTube channel in 2019, especially if you went from consistent uploading to a little, having a little bit of a break to whatever that be. So I've got three tips on how to kickstart your YouTube channel in 2019. Okay, three tips. Consistency, quality over quantity, and value in your content vlog today's episode will be solely shot on my phone i just got this phone probably about two weeks ago and it's the new iphone xs max um running a road video micro as well just to just to increase that audio just a little bit you know just those little good things yeah so we're gonna check it out what else do i have to do today yeah more of africa check in a couple of things out see some stores see some customers definitely definitely need some coffee that that is a must. If you're asking why there's boxes in my car, it's all about this home office studio upgrade that we're busy doing. And that's the purpose of today's video is to see what we can do. But that's the vlog style, right? That's that's what's happening around. But the juicy value of today is how to kickstart your YouTube channel in 2019. It actually feels so good to actually just film again and to see what's happening. Let's get this thing. Home office upgrade situation. So I'm trying to find a little box to hide all my cables and hopefully we can get that done quick. I'm a bit of an OCD freak. So when it comes down to cables and cable management, I just want to, oh, I just want to need to tack those things away. And those two shops, yeah, yielded no result. Um, I'll show you what I'm trying to talk about now, but I maybe have come up with a different plan to hide these cables that I actually need to do. Okay, I'm actually sitting here inside Leroy Merlin trying to find a thing called trunking. It's to obviously like hide the cables and to actually check what you can actually do. But do you honestly think I can find these things? Okay. So I found everything. This store is like a play store for anybody like Home Depot or whatever like this. This place has got it all, man. But if you are waiting for those three things, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Trust me, just hang on, hang on. I just got to get stuff done and I'll see you in the new studio at least. If you are wondering, we are sitting here, sort of call, call this vlogging on in public, Raul. Um, just check the card up above on how to vlog in public, man. I get myself into some awkward situations. Just go check it out in the meantime. Okay, what's up? We are back. I do apologize for the echo. I need to sort that out. I don't know if you can hear it properly, but it's like, echo! Beep, 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 boo! <laughs> if anything picks up from that, uh, yeah, it's gotta do, I gotta do something about that. We are, this is what, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm back in my office, back in my studio. It's a, you know, it's the same space. Don't judge me. Don't, don't judge me. You see, look at all of this. Oh my gosh, there's just cables everywhere yeah no that doesn't go with me because i was talking about this desk used to be against that wall so i just want to just maybe change it up a little bit almost have a little studio tripod's gonna go here with my camera facing that way there's the backdrop so let's see if we can fix that kind of situation right there i think i've been waffling long enough vlog style sort of over i still want to do the cables but I wanna just check with you and tap in to those three points that we mentioned earlier. Cool, number one is consistency. I'm still on my phone, 
here's my camera right here so having consistency in your upload schedule is what the algorithm's looking for it's what will drive your videos to your viewers i mean i grew from 12 subs 2019 and i'm i think i'm sitting at 174 now yes i went daily i had i made 63 videos in 63 days so i daily vlog daily uploaded for 63 days and i'm not saying this is the winning formula but having a consistent upload schedule lets the algorithm know uh, when to post your video when to push your video but having a consistent upload schedule it lets your subscriber base know when to expect you okay Point number two is quality over quantity. And I kind of, I've learned this the hard way and I'm trying not to let my channel die, <laughs> okay? But that being said, like I, I uploaded 63 videos in 63 three days and I saw some insane, well, for me, growth in the platform. Okay, it wasn't the most glamorous content out there, but I was posting consistently. And at the moment, my main goal when I went daily was to provide a foundation of content. So if lightning strikes and a bigger creator sees my channel or a new subscriber joins, they're not gonna see three videos over the past six months because then you know what, why subscribe to that channel if they're not producing content or you know why subscribe to something that you're never really gonna see i did however start comparing my content to fellow creators in the same space maybe in the same niche yeah that that is a pretty broad niche but i ended up comparing my content to other creators who had been doing this a lot longer than i did and that I felt myself going into, you know, that bottomless rabbit hole that is YouTube and you just start binging every other channel that you see and you're like, oh, why, why is my, why is the content that I'm putting out doesn't look like this or it's not conveyed in the same way and you know what each creator each person you watching this video you have your own flair don't compare yourself to anybody else with that you'll be more content with the content that you're putting out it comes down to the quality now when i was daily uploading well here's the camera i'd almost shoot run and go exactly what i needed to be shot to tell the story and to convey the point that I was trying to get across for that specific day. That being said, there was no depth, you know? There was no deeper meaning, there was no B-roll that really conveyed the story as well to tell the bigger picture. And a lot of creators are saying that, you know what, story is key. Normally when you are, you know, daily vlogging, that is the story. Your vlog or video or upload becomes a journal entry for that specific day and if a message came out on the top of it well then you know what that's a positive thing but the quality did decrease point number three find value in your content yeah it's simple what value are you adding to the community what value or what positive influence are you bringing in this video that you are creating how is that going to benefit somebody watching this how is that going to make that person subscribe as youtubers we sit there and we harass the people watching your videos like subscribe kick the bell you know all those good things and yes ask yourself this question before you start filming so you have a strategic approach in conveying your message throughout your video like you're not just waffling you know five minutes down the road and you realize that you haven't just said anything but you're actually just trying to make a plan to get the job done please that being said guys thank you for watching this far if you actually have made it please remember to smash the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already peace i will see you maybe i don't know see you in a couple of days peace see you soon Take 47. That's not that bad. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so, so tealy orange. I don't know what's happening with this. I'm not normally this color. My eyes aren't normally that blue. The oh, ba -ba -ba, baby, I love the way. Every day, yeah, yeah. Days. Peace, see you soon. I think I missed that horribly.